Hello, how are you guys doing? I want to first thank you for joining the membership. That means so much to me. Right now, you guys, I feel like personally, we are in a fight for our survival. We are in a fight for our life, for our salvation, where so many things are happening around us. We cannot just simply ignore all that is happening and why it is happening. And sometimes you don't get the answer to the why something is happening. But I do know that we need to prepare the best we can with what we have. So another tragedy has struck in Texas. So I'm going to let you listen to this story. Leave me some comments down below and let's talk about it. A sweltering semi-truck was found abandoned on the side of the road near San Antonio on a barren stretch known locally as the Mouth of the Wolf. CNN's Rosa Flores is in San Antonio. Rosa, you just spoke with the police chief. What did he have to say? Uh, you know, Jake, I'm still processing what he said. He said this was beyond tragic. And he described the scene in a way that we have not heard before. And I'm going to quote here. He said that when he saw that tractor trailer, here's what he saw. Quote, the floor of the trailer was completely covered in bodies and that at least 10 bodies were outside the trailer. Now, if you look at that video that we've been showing on this case, you'll see that there's a red tarp. That red tarp is covering the bodies that he is describing. Now, he says that when his officers first arrived on scene, they were hoping to rescue these individuals. That's why those bodies were taken out of the trailer, because these brave men and women were hoping to rescue the individuals in this trailer. But here's what he says happened next. The driver, they believe, started leaving that area where that trailer was. And so they asked for further resources. They asked for chopper backup. They used their police chopper to track this individual in a field and that that individual was detained. We don't have more information about that individual, but police officers, of course, were handling both scenes, both trying to detain the driver, the suspected driver, I should correct myself, and also trying to rescue the individuals in the trailer. But as the chief then very vividly described Jake, he said it was just a pile of fire. So when you are praying for yourself and your family at night, let's pray for others as well, because I don't know what kind of sick mind would make someone do something so harsh, so vile to another human being. We have to learn to love each other and live together in this world. Otherwise, this world will fall and it will crumble. Y'all take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.